And we are back here on WHHI TV Daily News with Representative Newton. Thank you so much for staying with me through that break. We're going to jump in now and talk about, we really, it was fascinating to hear about how far really USCB has come and, of course, the 20th anniversary of their four-year degree offering. But let's talk a little bit about some of the groundwork and, and boots on the ground that are in Columbia representing us because, as you said before, we weren't really getting a lot of attention. But now we've got some traction. So talk to us about that. Absolutely. It, you know, the uh, I was born in Greenville. Um, I, I went to law school in Columbia. I worked for a Supreme Court judge in Florence. I worked for a federal judge in Charleston. So I've lived all over the state and I've watched um, where the influence in Columbia yields uh, state investment in local communities. Going back to my time that we discussed earlier, 20 years ago when we were trying to get USCB, it was at that same time we couldn't even get DOT to give us money to put in a traffic light um, at Sun City. Interesting. Flash forward to where we are today. Um, the uh, Out of the 16 committees between the House and Senate, we have six chairmen of those committees. In the House alone of the standing committees, Shannon Erickson from Beaufort is chairman of education. Jeff Bradley is chairman of our regs committee and is about to get an AI newly created committee. New announcement, Bill Herb Kurzman is about to be made chairman of LCI, and he has labor, commerce, and industry. He has been vice chairman of Ways and Means, and I'm chairman of the Judiciary Committee. In the House, Tom is chairman of LCI, Senator Davis, and Chip Campson, uh, Fish and Wildlife. There's no other region in the state that has that kind of uh, strength of the delegation. And, and quite frankly, where that returns itself, 20 years ago, we were a donor county. 20 years ago, we couldn't get the state to focus on 278. 20 years ago, we couldn't get four-year degree granting status. 20 years ago, we couldn't get uh, traffic light at Sun City. Today, as I mentioned in the last segment, the last $11.5 million we were looking for for the Convocation Center at USCB. Now, construction numbers have changed, so we're going back to the drawing board. But um, we got the lion's share of state infrastructure bank funding that was available for the Hilton Head Bridge project last year. Money for the Hilton Head Airport. This year, all joy boat landing, $1.2 million. A million and a half dollars for a cyber security uh, education facility in Beaufort. Historic Bluffton Foundation, Hayward House Museum, 200000 Mitchellville Freedom Park, a uh, million dollars. Um, the Gullah Festival, $125,000. The Sheriff's Department Crime Lab, half a million um, dollars. Campbell AME Church in Bluffton, $200,000. Uh, Technical College of the Low Country, $1.8. So, and the list goes on. At, at the end of the day, all of us in the delegation voted to lower income tax and we accelerated the, inco the income tax reduction plan. But once that line is drawn, and we know how much money is coming into the state coffers. Our job, and in our committee chairmanship position, and given the strength of our delegation, we're going to the budget writers and say, no longer is this part of the South Carolina going to be second fiddle. No longer are we going to be a donor. We are a serious contributor to the state's number one economy, which is tourism, and we're going to make sure that the state makes appropriate investments here in Beaufort and Jasper counties. And I'm delighted to be a part of that. Again, having grown up and watched what 16 years of Greenville governors did and being chairman of county council here at the time when we, it was a desert and we couldn't get a return phone call to where we are today, it's, it, 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 the, the next decade looks really bright for this part of South Carolina. Well, it certainly does, and those are impressive numbers and impressive representations. So thank you so much for being here today to share your passion about our community with our viewers. We appreciate it so much. My pleasure. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Thanks to everyone on the show today for their insights and contributions. As always, our production team is behind the scenes to make all of this possible. And, of course, we are honored that you have chosen to share part of your day with us. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and we'll see you for the next WHHI-TV Daily News.